Amigos ciclistas, por favor, no le deis al like, no os suscribáis y no veáis este vídeo. Si sois de esos ciclistas que estáis todo el rato intentando presumir en la grupeta, que estáis pensando en tener lo último de Rafa, las gafas más molonas, los calcetines así o asa, el último modelo de bicicleta cada año, si estáis siempre trabajando y trabajando y trabajando y estresados para poder al final tener un dinero que dedicáis a compraros cosas que no podéis emplear porque no tenéis tiempo para emplearlas, si la industria os ha seducido con sus cantos de sirena o si no tenéis dinero y ponéis a plazos una bicicleta nueva con cables por dentro porque la que tiene cables por fuera ya no os vale cuando en realidad no tenéis tiempo para emplear la bicicleta con cables por fuera. Y os lo digo yo que he pasado muchas horas últimamente con aparatitos, los míos y los vuestros, perdiendo el tiempo en lugar de poder salir ahí fuera a disfrutar o en el rodillo, aunque sea una sesión corta. Ahora tengo muchísimo más material, pero muchísimo menos tiempo y a mí mismo me estoy haciendo el esfuerzo continuamente mental de recordarme que lo importante es salir ahí fuera y entrenar, aunque sea en el rodillo, pero entrenar. Esperando que llegue un 2024 con más tiempo para hacer bicicleta, os dejo con este corto de Sí, el mar, que habla precisamente de eso, de lo importante en la vida. Nos vemos ciclistas en la carretera virtual y ahí fuera. From the window I saw myself sleeping in my bed. When I looked down, I saw I was standing on claws. There were feathers in the reflection of the window, and when I tried to find my nose, I found a beak instead. I looked back at the bed. I saw myself sleeping deeply. The sun was rising over downtown, extending my arms. I found wings, and with ease I took flight. I looked at the sun, the buildings turned into sharp mountains. I soared towards the highest peaks, towards the rising sun. When I reached the tip of the tallest one, an infinite ocean appeared beneath me. I had only a glimpse before the brightness of the sun blinded my eyes. When I opened my eyes again, all I saw was the wall in my bedroom. God's sakes, you kill that fucking bitch. I'm trying, George. I'm really trying. See a squaw around here? Got any tobacco? Gerard, dude. The lake. She's heading for the lake. Ronald. Let's go. Hey! Come on, buddy.
You looking for a squaw? I guess not. That bird must be dead by now. Anyway, name's Bill. Seamus. Seamus. Well, Seamus, would you like some soup? I'll bet you got something over there. Ha <laughs> I don't mind kind of left but one of them. I think I have something we can use. Uh, so, this woman goes flying past down there just a while ago. And then these two rustlers. Good meat, good meat. So these two rustlers asked me where she went, pointing this fucking rifle at my chest. That's all they said. As if she could have been Chinese. Yeah, shit. I sent them the other way. I said, there you go. So where are you from? Ottawa. Too many Chinese back there? Shit, they only go with a golden. Here I am. Ah, look at me. I could be a grandfather. And here I am. Doing what's the me do. Leftovers of leftovers. What do we do with all these slant bags once they finish our railroad? I'm already there almost smelling the sea. And I see that all the time and all the silence will never make this journey long enough. Imagining the sea I've never seen. Very lonely. There is not much more to do than wait and fear. Ever been to California, son? Yeah, those were the good old days. More than 30 years ago. After digging, we go to town and invite the senoritas for drinks. One day, there's just a hole in the ground. The next morning, a whole town was being built, spinning faster than a train wheel. And it was a greenhorn man, just like you. When you look back, your legs are weak. And all you want to do is pack it in. But you know, I spent most of my life chasing after gold. I'm just away the next chance. It's like all those years of trial went for nothing. Came up here from San Francisco like the rest in 58. All we had was a map of the Fraser River and more than the gold. I found this vast. Almost as powerful as the gold itself. Picking up small nuggets of your own fate. Go to go there. It's got some kind of mystical quality apart from its worth. It kindles a fire in my blood when I find it. Holding those nuggets in my hand beside the fire. I got cold fever. And it stays forever. I must go. I must go to the Klondike. There's a creek with no name. A million miles from civilization waiting for me. I must go. I gotta go. I gotta go to the Klondike waiting for me. I gotta go. I must go. I must go. Stay a creek with no name. There's a fire.
let's leave this place. Thank you. Don't say that. I give when someone needs it and I take even life, I guess, when I have to. We must say goodbye. I killed one of the men who stole my horse. His partners are tracking me. We won't stop. It's a miracle that I'm still alive. It's gonna be a cold night. Sorry about the fire. It's not safe. Safe? Isn't it a miracle that I'm still alive too? I remember that one night, when I was a child. I asked my father what my mom's eyes were like. He said, like the crest of a wave. What is a wave, I asked him. He replied, the waves are the crown of the sea. But I've never seen the sea, I cried. My mother named me rain in the face. She says the rain brought me back to life when I was a baby. She married an Englishman. He went back to Europe when the Hudson Bay Company closed his trading post. What about you? Me? Me? So you're serious. You come all the way from the civilized world to here to see the sea. Haven't you ever seen the sea? They're building railway tracks everywhere. You could just follow them. That is not how I want to see it. Maybe we could cross the lake, take the north route, get away from the tracks. Those two bastards. Is that what you want? You don't talk much, do you? I've been out walking. I don't do too much talking these days. My father taught me how to write in English. My mother taught me why Indians don't use handwriting. I'll go and see her when we get to the coast. You're welcome to come if you wish. She's still here. She didn't go to New York with your father. She'd die if she did. No. She stayed with her tribe. There are simple people who live by the rivers and the sea.
You can come with me. I think it'd be good for you. You know it would. I dreamt there was a raven. You're lucky. We'll take the north route. Someone needs a canoe to cross the lake. We'll bring it to them. Where are we going to find a canoe? They're telling us where the canoe is hidden. Do you know them? No, but only Indians know how to write with light. I thought red men didn't know how to write at all. There were two religions given by the old spirit. One in a book for the guidance of the white man, who by following its teachings will reach the white man's heaven. The other is in the heads of the Indians. In the sky, rocks, rivers and mountains. And the red men, who listen to the great spirit in nature, will hear his voice and find at last the heaven beyond. I've been where you come from, Seamus. My father took me with him when I was very young. There were more white men than there are blades of grass upon the prairie. I saw a great many houses standing on top of each other and the people were living on top of the heads of their friends. Open your eyes. I ran away from my dad just before the metal boat was leaving from New York to London. I never saw him again. An old friend of my father's, I'd met him back in the West, saw me walking in the streets. He gave me a paper. And whenever I felt hungry, I took it into a trading post and gave it to the chief, who gave me all I could eat for nothing. I took that paper with me whenever I wished to go to any of the camps or towns of the white men. And I gave it to a man standing at a door of a house which rested on wheels. When I got inside the door, the house ran over the prairies very quickly. Two ravens came along. And away they went, the house and the ravens together, each trying to beat the other. But after a sharp contest, the ravens were left behind in a black cloud of steam. infinite beauty of the sea, the thin layer of reflected light, the game of colors, what darkness, what monsters lurk in your depth, give me the pipe, this will be good for you, I'm fine, better than ever, oh, I'm dying, Thank you. Stop saying that. What? 
I'll see my mom's eyes very soon. Did she die long ago? I was very little. My dad took care of me. He had a small business printing newspapers. I worked for him for a few years, reading the same news every day. The American states won't stop expanding. The future of the Confederation depends on the completion of the transcontinental line. The first night we met, I dreamt I was walking on one of the tracks in construction, looking for you, when an invisible train ran over me. Are you ready? It was calm. It was strange calmness. Just like that. I wanted to live the last dream of freedom before the train arrives and the East takes over. The day my father died, I dreamt I was a raven flying over the ocean. I left, sold everything. Took the train all the way to the end of the line at Banff. Bought two horses and hired guides to cross the mountains in the desert. And then you saved my life. And here we are. Maybe because I still need your help. I was looking for the beauty of the sea behind the mountains. And now, I'm not sure if I recognize beauty anymore. Just... Tomorrow's an important day for you. Listen to your dreams, but don't worry so much. You and Ravens have to learn to fly.
this song came from I'm just going along for now I like walking in the rain And I no longer feel any pain And this woman, she has eyes so kind And this man, he tries to play with my mind But I can see through him He's as gentle as a I can see the light I am no longer required to fight I have found a place I can call my own I have finally found a The air smells fresh, but that can't be Cause L.A. never felt so clean to me I look up to the sky, the clouds, and I sing my song Out loud, I can see Down the street And it's dark But I can see now Who needs light when I've got faith I am alone now We are all one now I am alone now We are all one now I can I can call my own I have